First at 11, tracking a mess in the tropics. It just became a tropical storm. Still trying to figure out exactly where it'll go. Good evening, I'm Elliot Rodriguez. I'm Lauren Pastrana. A lot of questions tonight, though South Florida is in the possible path of what's now a tropical storm, Isaias. The next 24 hours should tell us a lot and let us know how we need to prepare. So let's get right to Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer and the new advisory just out at 11. Craig? So lots of news tonight because we're now dealing with a named storm that's good and bad. Of course, we don't ever want a tropical storm uh, out there that's headed in our general direction. The good news is, is now we finally have something that we can literally track, and that's important for the models. It's important for uh, tracking exactly where it is and where it's going, its speed, its direction, its size, everything like that. So, so we've kind of, it's the good news, bad news situation like that. We now have a 50 mile an hour tropical storm, but we have a center point from which the models now can be initialized and then go forward. So this initial point tonight was pretty close to the Hurricane Center's estimate at 8 p.m. So I think these runs that come in overnight, the computer runs, uh, should be a little bit more accurate or at least a little more credible. Let's put it that way. Moving west-northwest at 20 winds, 50 miles an hour, about 150 miles or so south of the southern coast of Puerto Rico there. You can see the earlier position there, this was the 5 o'clock position. So the, it's kind of a bit of a relocation in a way, but now that we believe we have a center, uh, we feel, we're feeling better about that. Here's the tropical storm conditions with the latest advisory track here and going forward into time. And we're showing you this. This is our threat cone here because when you're really close to the storm, that cone is, is basically meaningless, especially if the storm is big because the weather from the storm extends well outside of the cone. So there is the cone over the next 12 hours, clearly away from Puerto Rico, but Puerto Rico getting some very nasty squally weather tonight. This is tomorrow morning here, and then by tomorrow evening, you can see it's really hard to imagine that this is going to somehow jump and then go like that. That's moving in a pretty straight direction now that the center has formed. Obviously, there can be little wobbles and things like that, but we're a little more confident tonight that it is going to stay the center in the cone. Because remember, the cone tracks the center. All the bad weather, though, is spreading out of the cone. So that is 8 p.m. tomorrow evening. Then Friday morning, this is where we're really going to be watching. I know 24 hours, maybe like 36 hours before we really have a good idea for South Florida's impacts because we've got to get it on the other side of Hispaniola and then we've got to investigate it. So Hurricane Hunters will be out here uh, tomorrow night and Friday morning going back and forth doing what we call beach patrol, waiting for the center to come out. And then we'll be watching very closely. Is it still pretty much together? Has it really gotten messed up by across the mountains? Too early to tell, but we'll know better as we get into Friday. There's the Saturday position. And then there is the sun, uh, Saturday evening position, the Sunday evening position. The track has shifted a bit to the east tonight. A lot of the models have shifted to the east, and uh, you can see the tropical storm force winds now have shifted to the east as well in this forecast here, mainly along the east coast and the keys here, the west coast, a little bit less of a threat from the tropical storm conditions in that latest advisory. Here's the way it looks in Puerto Rico tonight, very, very stormy. There's where that center has formed down there to the south. Satellite map is showing the uh, big, big disheveled system, but there you can see the center taking over down there to the south. So what are we doing? We're still preparing. If you haven't seen it, here it is. These are things uh, we'll be doing. Still not thinking it's a shutter event, but we should know more, I think, by early Friday morning. More on everything that's going on out there with this system, Isaias, coming up.